Hello everybody and welcome to another Hawkeye Star Rail video. Today what I'm going to be doing is the Boot Hill Trial. Now you might notice that behind me is very different. Um, and that is because I have officially completed, well not completed, we're still unpacking a lot of things. We've officially moved into the new house. Now, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to have some stuff behind me once I get the shelf behind me. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to get in and record a video. I'm very behind on videos that I wanted to make. Um, usually I record myself playing the trial, just so I can give you guys my thoughts on every character that comes out, the design, the, the gameplay, everything. Um, and, yeah, uh, sl I mean, let's get into it. Boot Hill, I really like him. I think his attack is so cool. Um, does the quick draw. It was really badass. Okay. Oli. He looks kind of badass. He really does. Everything about him is kind of just really cool to me. All right, let's get into the combat. Okay. So basic attack uh, deals physical damage to a single target. Skill sizzling tango. Initiate standoff. After the target in the standoff is defeated or weakness broken, Boothill receives a pocket trick shot and dispels the standoff. Boothill gains enhanced basic attack in his turn, and this turn does not end. Okay. So, after he uses a skill, he gets a, a stronger basic attack, and, um, yeah, I guess he initiates a standoff with someone. I'm pretty sure we're going... Oh, okay. It doesn't show it here. A uh, standoff is basically he creates a little bit of a 1v1 um, and he can deal more damage to the person he's in standoff with. And I believe he actually takes less damage from people who aren't his main target. Uh, Dust Devil's Sunset Rodeo. Ultimate. Applies physical weakness to a single enemy, deals massive physical damage to them, and delays their action. Um, yeah, yeah. He, just, he just basically does a big attack to an enemy. And, uh, yeah, delays their action, I guess. Five Ps in a pod is his talent. Um, pocket trick shot increases the enhanced basic attacks toughness reduction to, and additionally deals physical break damage if the target is weakness broken. After winning a battle, retains pocket trick shot for the next battle. So, this is really, really good. Uh, we, we learned about pocket trick shot here. After he breaks or kills anybody, he gets a stack of it. And now we know that that is his passive pocket trick shot. And what it does is increases his enhanced basic attack toughness reduction, which means it deals more of the break bar. And then he additionally deals physical uh, break damage if they're already completely broken, which is why he deals so much damage to broken enemies. Because if he has all three stacks, he's dealing omega damage. Three to nine smile. Okay. After a technique is huge, used, inflicts we physical weakness on a single enemy when casting a skill for the first time in the next battle. Okay. Um, yeah, so he can just put a physical weakness on whoever he's in standoff with after using uh, an attack on them whenever he enters battle. Also, not only that, by the way, um, his ultimate does in fact apply the physical weakness effect to them as well. So even if they don't have the official, you know, Physical damage tag. He doesn't need it. All right, so we're going to get two things to stand off there because we broke and we killed them. We're going to bring Boothill up again. Oh, well, I kind of wanted him to kill there. Hmm. There we go. Oh, wait, it's only after he used his skill. It's only after he uses his, uh, big one. Okay, we are going to... Physical weakness on. Attack him. I'm gonna have Pela attack someone else. I'm actually gonna get Boot Hill to ult this guy. I guess I probably should've... I could've, I could've waited until after they were broken. Really shown off the damage. But, I'm going to get this third stack. There we go, 107,000 damage to a single target with a spell. 
Time for good use my support stuff. We're going to reduce their defense there with Pela. We're going to both our attack. No, I accidentally pressed attack instead of skill. Okay. Enemy targets detected. This battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Bring it on. Alright. We're going to give this unit the weakness because that's the only reason why we didn't break them there is because this guy doesn't have the physical weakness on him yet. This is going to do a lot of damage. Yep, 72,000. So normally he'll do like 17k, but if they are broken or he breaks them, it's just 72 to 100,000 damage. It's insane. Ooh, we don't have the we don't have the skill point. There we go. Ooh, 152,000. A lot of damage. I I really do like Boot Hill. My problem with it is that um honestly my biggest problem with it is that Firefly is coming out. Uh, that's the only reason why I'm not pulling on Boot Hill, why I didn't pull to acquire Boot Hill, is because I, I just really want Firefly. I want to get Firefly, I want to get Firefly's Light Cone. Hell, I might even get an Eidolon. It depends on how bad I think I want Yun Lee, because uh, Jade is coming after Firefly, but then Yun Lee is coming. And let's, I mean, I'm just going to say it, guys. Hoyoverse always knocks out of the park with their destruction characters. Uh, so Yun Li, I believe, honestly, is going to be absolutely no different when it comes to that. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to see. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to talk about those characters. I'm going to record that video probably right now. Thank you for watching. See you guys.